हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर होस्ट गुरु फ्रॉम ऑनलाइन बब डॉट कॉम एंड टूडे वे गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड टूडे वे गोइंग टू लर्न टूडे वे गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द कंपोनेंट फ्रॉम द एक्सरसाइज टूल बॉक्स दैट इज कंडीशनल स्प्लिट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ये माई फ्रेंड्स कंडीशनल स्प्लिट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज वन ऑफ द कॉम्पोनेंट फ्रॉम द एक्सरसाइज टूल बॉक्स एंड टूडे वे गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट विद रियल टाइम एग्जाम्पल स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द वीडियो नाउ Conditional split transformation is a component, is a tool from the exercise toolbox. Since it's a part of the exercise toolbox, definitely it comes into the picture during the ETL process. ETL means extraction, transformation, and loading. So hey guys, if you want to know more about the ETL process or if you want to understand the ETL process, then go and watch my complete one hour video where I have explained you the complete ETL process step by step with a real time video. The video link is already been provided in the description box below. So find it and watch that video in case if you don't know about the etl so now let's continue with this video now friends conditional split transformation is a component of the ssis toolbox and the duty of this component is to transform the data during the etl process yes my friends so uh, the the component has one input and it has got many outputs yes why many outputs because the duty of this component is to split the data into the many outputs so depending on the condition it, it transforms the data into the many outputs that is the use of this component in ssis toolbox the condition can be anything you know for example let me just show you the conditions let's suppose let me have a customer employee database okay let's suppose i have employee database here and let me put a name here let's suppose i will put Shiv, second is Khadak, third is Bhavik, and fourth is Robin. Okay, uh, let's suppose I have this four employees and their ages are let's suppose 65 and um, 25. Here I will say 61 and 6 uh, 32. Okay. So these are their respective ages. Okay. So uh, these are my employee database. Now suppose among this employee database, if you want to understand the senior citizen employees and the junior citizen employees, then what we will do, we will simply put a condition here. The what condition? The condition is pretty simple that if the employee, employee age is greater than or equal to 60, then he should be called as a senior citizen citizen employee or retired employee okay or if the age is employee age is less than or less than 60 okay then he should be called as called as working employee okay he should be called as a working employee or a junior employee means is doesn't come into the senior senior citizen category okay so my friends this is the simple example of a condition you know just to make you understand what the condition means so here is the condition the condition is pretty simple depending on the condition the data splits into the different output so this is the work of this conditional split transformation so hope you understood the working process of this component that is taking the one input of the data and splitting of the data into the many outputs depending on the condition means it is transforming the data depending on the conditions so conditions can be anything you know the condition can be age condition a condition can be uh, your uh, money condition uh, condition can be your customer database condition condition can be anything depending on the conditions uh, splitting of the data and transforming it into the many outputs that is the work of this conditional split transformation component now we are going to perform the same example in our msbi program that is using the conditional split transformation we are going to transform the data into the different outputs depending on the conditions and finally storing the data into the data warehouse this example we are going to perform in our msbi application for that let me open up my visual studio 2017 so Visual Studio 2017 
As you see friends, we have successfully opened up our Visual Studio 2017. Now here we are going to perform a simple ETL process example where we are going to extract the data from the Excel source. Finally, we are going to transform the data using our conditional split transformation component and finally loading the data into the data warehouse. That is here in our case, the data warehouse will be our SQL Server 2017. So yes friends, we are going to perform a simple example now. So let's get started with that. For that, I am going to say file. I will say new project and uh, finally yes integration services project and here I am going to say conditional split transformation there you go so I have given the nice name to remember that is conditional split transformation as you can see friends we have successfully created the project file here you know now in this project file we are going to perform the etl process example now for the extraction part we have created the source here you know that is our excel source so let me just show you my excel file here you know so how it is looks like it looks like like this you can see with the employee id with the employee name employee age and employee salary and for the transformation part we are going to use the conditional split transformation component and the depending on the condition the table rows is going to get split that is the condition is pretty simple if the employee age is greater than 60 then the rows will go to the retired employee table yes if the age is less than 60 then the data rows will goes to the working employee table i have created the two destination here okay let me just show you the two destination here in my sql server as you can see i have created the two tables here let me just refresh this and show you okay as you can see retired employees and working employees okay so this is my table columns here retired employee with the name with the age and the salary and same for the working employees also the employee id name age and salary so this is my final destination data warehouse where i am going to store all the data and depending on the transformation the data is going to get split and it is going to land up in the respective tables depending on the condition so this is the example now we are going to perform so let's see now so now let's go to our visual studio 2017 to perform an example now so here i am there on the control flow tab as you can see friends so now from the exercise toolbox i am going to just pull up this data flow task to perform an example now to perform the demonstration of etl process here my excel will be the source file and my transformation will be the conditional split transformation component and for the loading i am going to use the ada.net as my sql server data warehouse so let's perform this operation now just double click on this data flow task now from the exercise toolbox let's drag and drop the excel source because our source is an excel file so just drag and drop from the sources so now let's configure this excel source so connection manager yes okay and uh, let's say the new connection manager browse book one i will say okay sheet one preview yes the data is there as you can see friends the employee id employee name employee age and employee salary we are there just close this say okay yes so we have successfully configured the excel source now to this excel source file let's give a nice name in order to remember very easily you know from which source we are getting this data so let's do that uh, in order to rename this component just click on the component and right click it and rename and employee list since i am getting this data from the employee list so i have given the name as employee list whatever the source you want to give you want to name it for your remember purpose you can give any name now we have done the extraction part now the next step will be the transformation part so for the transformation what we are using here the conditional split transformation yes so let's go to the ssis toolbox and drag and drop the conditional split as you can see it is here just drag and drop now let's configure this conditional split transformation component so in, in order to do that so i'm going to first connect my source here to this conditional split transformation component as you can see and i'm going to give a nice name here as employee 
कंडीशनल स्प्लिट देर यू को सो इन ऑर्डर टू कॉन्फिगर दिस आई एम जस्ट क्लिकिंग right click on the component and i will say edit and as you can see here conditional split transformation configuration editor has been opened up here now i will say output name as age greater than 60 and here i am going to put the condition here and i am going to choose the column from here as you can see we have we have the columns from the source end so i will say employ age should be greater than 60 this is my first condition and the second condition is less than 60 and uh, the same i am going to just copy here or i will just drag and drop here i will say less than 60 and finally i have successfully configured my conditional split editor so as you can see friends we have the two conditions here one is greater than 60 another one is less than 60 so it means our component that is conditional split transformation component is going to give us the two output then the number of conditions we have the number of out output we are going to get it from the component now let's configure this output to the destination part you know that means we are going to finally load the data to the data warehouse and here the data warehouse is our sql server so we are going to use the destination as our adia.net destination so let's do that so i will just say okay here so now i am going to my ssis toolbox and here i am going to drag and drop my destination as adia.net since i have got the two conditions so it means i have the two outputs so it means i am going to drag and drop the two destinations here so one destination is for the retired employees and the second destination is for the working employees so here i have the two destination let configure it so this is my first output is going to the adia.net destination 1 and here i am going to choose output as greater than 60 it means we have the retired employee list here you know the data rows which is coming from the excel source will be the retired employee rows only so why because we have selected the condition as greater than 60 here so okay i'll just say okay here and uh, second output as you can see we have the second output also and here i am going to select the less than 60 and here i am going to get the data rows as working employees for the working employees i am going to get the data rows here so i will say okay here okay done as you can see friends we got the two destinations here why because we got the two output why because we got the two condition one is age is greater than 60 and another one is age is less than 60 so we got the two destination here now we need to configure the both the destination now before the configuring the both the destination let me rename this so i will say retired employee list and here i am going to say working empl list working employee list now i am going to configure this both destination to my data warehouse so let's do that just double click on this component and uh, here we go the connection manager will be my new connection manager and yes this is connection is perfect okay and table will be yes retired employees yes why because this component is going to receive the retired employee data rows only from the excel source so i am going here i am going to select my retired employee table only so yes so i will say i will do some mapping here okay so mapping will be it's pretty simple employee id employee name employee age and employee salary this is my mapping i will say okay here and this is it i am done and here this component also i am going to just configure it for that just double click on this the connection will be the same i will just change my table here working employee yes mapping so employee id employee name employee age employee salary okay 
Okay friends, as you can see we have successfully configured the both the ADO.NET destination config components successfully. So now let's check the output. Before we go and check the output, let me just show you my data warehouse. So this is my data warehouse of working employees as you can see. Let me just refresh this you know, in case just to show you the output if we, that we are getting properly or not you know. As you can see I did the refresh for both the thing. Let, let me do this refresh also. So done. So as you can see both the data is empty here. Now we are going to run the program and I am going to show you the output. So let's run the program now. So I will just click on the start button to run the program. Just a start and yes definitely as you can see we got the 7 rows here and from that 7 rows we got the 4 rows whose age is greater than 60 has went into the retired employee list and whose age is is less than 60 went into the working employee list. Now I'm going to stop this process. Okay, as you can see the output is we are getting successfully correct. Now I'm going to stop this output and uh, yes, the output has been stopped successfully. Now I'm going to show you my the desired result here, you know, I will just say refresh here. Okay, let me just close this and again I will just show you the retired employee list. As you can see, let me just show you the second table also. So friends, as you can see the age here, you know, 25, 30 and 32. The working employees are perfectly inserted here and the retired employees whose age is greater than 60 has successfully inserted here on this retired employees table. So it means we got the output perfectly. So friends, this is how we need to execute the program using the conditional split transformation component. Hope you really like this video. If you got any doubts or any queries, do comment me in the below comment box and definitely I'm going to answer your queries and doubts. If you really liked our video, then do not forget to hit on the like button and do subscribe to our channel if you want to learn msbi step by step your one like and one subscribe really motivate us to make this such wonderful videos step by step so see you next time friends thank you very much